Hi there. Good day everyone. I am Eva Suarez and today I will present current trends and perspective in criminology. In our previous assessment, I have intentionally chosen to present cybercrime criminology as an academic discipline. Inspired by the previous lessons and by Dr. Nats Golia in his speech in Synthesis, Current Trends and Perspective in Criminology, he stated that technology is here to stay and that we will be counterproductive if we resist or refuse to embrace it. And since it is here to stay, we might as well utilize it to widen our perspective in criminology. The dawn of technology has changed the way people behave and majority of what we do now in many forms is connected to technology. In the same manner, most of the crimes committed are connected to technology. Our understanding nevertheless has not survived the step with the technological revolutions that shaped criminal behavior. Cyberspace has been exploited by many fields of study. Criminology later on explored it and found a new form of criminality called cybercrime. The evolution of cybercriminology began with the launching of the International Journal of Cybercriminology in 2007 and Professor K. Jaishankar, an independent Indian criminologist, was credited as the founding father of cybercriminology. He academically coined the term cybercriminology and defined it as the study of causation of crimes that occur in the cyberspace and its impact to physical space. As an academic discipline, cybercriminology encompasses multidisciplinary field of inquiry. Criminology, sociology, psychology, victimology, information technology, and computer and internet sciences. At its core, cybercriminology involves the examination of criminal behavior and victimization in cyberspace from a criminological or behavioral theoretical perspective. Cybercriminology has also given birth to a unique theory, the space transition theory, and this theory advances the field of discipline of cybercriminology. The space transition theory is an explanation about the nature of the behavior of the persons who bring out their conforming or non-conforming behavior in the physical space and cyberspace. You know, this uh, theory argues that people behave differently when they are moved from one space to another. The discipline of cybercriminology has been more than 10 years old, and it has successfully entered the portals of the academe in foreign countries, starting from the minor to major courses to Bachelor of Science in Cybercriminology. Academically speaking, in the Philippine setting, cybercrime or introduction to cybercrime course subject was included in the criminology curriculum only in the latest CHED's Memorandum Order or CMO No. 5, Series of 2018. If the use of technology has been tested and tried in the criminal justice system, then the 21st century community has already embraced and made use of these technologies in ways that would be beneficial to criminal justice. Then it would be of prime importance that this cyber criminology be allowed to enter in the portals of the Philippine Academy as a separate and distinct academic discipline as well. And with that, thank you for watching my presentation.